I would certainly uh, tell my friends about Brimstone. We absolutely love this project. Margie from Central Cambridge contacted us to electrify her house entirely and get off gas. So at this property, we've installed solar panels, a large power vault battery storage unit. We've electrified the heating through a tepio, and we've electrified the hot water. It's a fantastic project, and you're going to get the chance to see how we did that. From the uh, practical point of view, we're getting hotter summers. Um, we can harness this energy. And so there were various reasons, but the green, the green card was my, my main reason. Um, so I wanted to, to do my part and I wanted to change the system away from gas. I talked to friends who had a ground source or air source heat pump, particularly a friend with an air source heat pump. But I have these micro pipes in my house and it was going to be incredibly disruptive. And uh, my house was already occupied and this was going to be difficult. Well, I've got the solar panels, so I've got, I think, 13 altogether. So I've got um, 10 on the, on the house, and then I've got three on my garage, which I think is quite a, a not com maybe completely unique, but maybe people don't normally think of having them on the garage, because initially I thought I couldn't have them because I don't have south-facing roof, or hardly any. So most of them are on the east-facing side, and actually they seem to be generating quite a lot. Uh, because I get lots of morning sun. In the house, I've got this Tepio uh, heat boiler, which acts like kind of a battery. And then I have the power vault battery in the garage. I've got a tariff, it's Octopus Cozy tariff, which means that I can get off peak hour um, from the grid. I can also, so I can import uh, off peak and store it like a bit like a phone power bank. I can use what I've generated from the solar panels and I'm storing it in the battery be used for my boiler, it can be used uh, for the radiators, and, um, and then what comes from the solar panels is being stored. I'm doing a house renovation project and uh, the contractor worked with Matt. And basically, uh, I had all this scaffolding put up when it was for the solar panels. And I tried to incorporate uh, the rest of my building project, various teams actually, part of this brimstone project under the brimstone umbrella. So, I, so the solar panels went up, but at the same time, um, we got the painting of the outside, the windows, which was needing to be done for maintenance. And we also got the new guttering, which I had to do with the scaffolding all at the same time. So that was, so I was really happy about that. This is a large property in central Cambridge, so we needed to think carefully about how a tepio could provide all of the heating demand for the property. In fact, we decided to pair it with a thermoskirt. So thermoskirt has been installed within the living room and within the dining room, meaning the tepio is only providing about half of the downstairs and then all of the upstairs heating demand. So the thermoskirt that's been installed here is electrically powered which means it's going to be drawing power off the battery and off the solar in order to provide heating into the living room and the dining room. And that complements the Tepio, which is a heat battery storage device, which will charge up overnight and then issue out that heat when it's needed. This really goes to show that you always want to work with a company that will look at the big picture for you. This friend who's, who's doing my building project, he knew Matt of Brimstone Energy and he said, I think you might want to meet, meet Matt. And so Matt came round um, several times and we had com long conversations and he described all the technical things. I got the gist of it and realised this was probably going to work for, for my needs and my house. They, they, they arrived and they got on with their bits and uh, there, there were some sort of issues like my utility room has already got uh, a dryer and a washing machine help. Where's this thing going to go? But actually the boiler was removed, the gas boiler, and the tepio was put on the ground where the dryer was, and, the, and then a bracket was put and the dryer was put on top, like a white good. So it actually looks like I've got dryer, the washing machine, and this matching battery boiler in my utility room. Not looking forward to the winter, but um, it's it's going to be quite exciting seeing um, how I'm being 
much more self-sufficient and uh, much more off the grid than I was before. And no fossil fuels. And just one piece of advice, if you're having scaffolding, don't just go to the garden centre a few days before and plant out all your plants. Make sure you know where the scaffolding is going to go. But they were, they were great. And uh, I would certainly uh, tell my friends about Brimstone.